Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. So we're at a beautiful Palma boat show with the lovely people from Berthon International here in Palma to have a look at the Marex 310 SC. These boats are just beautiful. They're so cleverly designed throughout. Simple stuff like a bench seat on the cockpit that then becomes storage for gas, lockers, and self-draining for fenders and wet lines. We're at a boat show, so we are going to whiz round. Teak platform with a swim ladder underneath, but such super high combings. So when you're in the boat, you're very much in the boat. Fabulous sea door, so if you've got children or whatever, you can close that boat up, lock up, and keep everybody safe inside. And we'll just clip it back for them. Straight into this fantastic seating area, outside space. And the gentleman from Berthon was telling me that they cleverly designed the corner seats so you can actually sit in the corners. So the idea is, most people like to sit in the corner because it gives you a bit of extra support. So they haven't just squared it off, they've rounded it off so you can actually can sit in that corner. And I'll just do it quickly now. If you're sitting in that corner, you've got this beautiful view, obviously at the boat show, but out the back. I'll just pop their cushions back. And the other thing with these boats is they come with this absolutely fantastically practical Alcantara style finish. Another lovely run of seating all the way around there. And you can, if you want to, have this whole area opened or closed. So if you want to open this whole area, obviously take the canopies out as we've got here. There's a canvas section here that slides right the way back into the front of the radar arch. But equally, you'll see there's a track in here so you can unclip that door over there. The canopies come out and then they run right the way around the track, right the way around to this side. So you can close this whole area off if you want to, because you'll also notice there's another massive sunroof at the front, which again, you can open and close depending on the weather conditions. Lovely little seat, sort of casual seat here facing forwards. I then take a step up here we then have this fantastic helm station here. Two seats with bolsters. Little fridge down below. And the ability to stand and steer. So hidden down the way here, we have the distribution panel for AC and DC voltage. Little heat event there. You'll notice that these seats are on a slider. So you can either slide them forwards, drop the bolsters down and sit down if you want to, or slide them back, lift the bolsters up and stand up. We're on Volvo Penta engines here, so we've got the Volvo Penta controllers. Again, beautiful finish here, which have actually married into the engine controller. Nice to see a light coloured dash as well. All the usual bits and pieces you'd expect to see here. And you can stand here and get a fantastic view forward as you're going along. But equally, because it's so open at the back, got a really good view of the dock as you're coming in stern too. Just quickly look in this locker because I do like a locker. Oh, look at that. It's actually a cool box, believe it or not. How fantastic is that? So, the other nice thing about this boat is the way that they have got this massive sliding door. So, this door slides right the way across, right the way forward to here, and obviously opens or closes this entire area. So, that gives it a really bright open finish, particularly as we are today with the roof open. A little scupper in there to stop rainwater or seawater running in and it looks like actually looking at it you can even put a drop of scupper boards in there so that if it is raining a little bit it stops the water washing down below decks on the port side as you go down you're met by the galley just close this off so there's a lovely sink in here big molded sink which is really neat gives you a chopping board on top which is really handy and then there's a double burner gas Dometic hob in there and lots of storage I'm not going to open every cupboard but look at how well they're finished inside the other thing which is quite neat on these boats is glass doors so we're going to go forward first because it's glass it actually throws light into the forward cabin bearing in mind these are designed for northern climbs as well fantastic hull windows right the way through here to this massive double berth 
four hatch there to the four deck, and I suspect storage underneath here. Probably normally this. Yep, there you go. That lifts up. Loads of storage and really clever ventilation, so you don't get moisture building up underneath the mattress. And that's on the gas struts. And the rest of it is finished in this lovely Alcantara material. You'll then notice there's two doors behind us here. First one takes us into the shared heads. Really nice wet room finish. Again with whole windows. Lovely mirror. And a zip round shower curtain set into the ceiling. And this other door then takes us into the second cabin. Little seat in there to perch when you're getting dressed. Hanging locker in there. And again, benefiting from those hull windows. A little bit of storage cleverly designed in there. And then it's absolutely vast berth here. A surprisingly high up section. So whilst obviously you can't stand up, you can sit up. And in the middle here, there is a window that throws light in from the galley, I guess, or helm station. So just such practical, logical design, well executed. And then built and finished beautifully. So we're going to take a quick turn around the decks. We'll close those doors to keep the uh, lovely air conditioning in. And then we will step up on this cleverly designed box here using this lovely teak grab rail that then follows up to this grab rail at the top here as well and another grab rail that runs right around the top while we're up here you can see there's a little mast there for radar, TV aerials and the like this particular variant has solar panels so you can charge the batteries when the sun's out nice decent side decks right the way around opening window to the helm station and a really decent sun lounger there's that pop out section that we looked at down below and really oddly there's no tow rail so normally you have a rail here called a tow rail so it keeps your toes on board very wide bow sort of dolphin nose bow anchor set below the decking and then in here we have very deep self-draining anchor locker again a little gas strut very nice So that is the Mayor X 310 SC. Thank you very much for the guys at Berthon International for letting us have a look round. Do please like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time round. Thanks for watching.